what led me to forensic art was a childhood interest. I can't say exactly when I became aware that you could be an artist in the police, um, but I've always been interested in that. I've had an interest in archaeology and I suppose anything to do with sort of reconstructing what may have happened in the past. So whether that's narrative or in this case, people from the past. The Western Cape Cold Case Consortium is an idea, um, a concept that grew out of partly my PhD work and also my experience of working with the Sutherland Restitution Initiative. Um, and the experience of Sutherland showed me the value of collaborative holistic approaches to what is possible when you get a group of, of scientists and researchers together with different expertise that from, a, from a, a set of human remains you can recreate a really rich biography of a person. So we're focusing on the Western Cape. We are currently busy with a pilot project where we're looking at five cases from the Salt River facility and we're applying forensic anthropology, so that allows um, the creation of a, what's called an osteobiography, so a story based on the bones. Um, we have stable isotope analysis, we have medical imaging, which is the CT scanning that produces the model that I'm able to then create the facial reconstruction with. We have forensic pathology, obviously, because these are cases that would have come into the forensic pathology services and we also um, piloting forensic genetics. And so some of the science that we're using is experimental and wouldn't be accepted in court yet, but we're doing it in a research context. So we're curious to see what will happen. The forensic genetics is particularly interesting for me because forensic genetics is enabling facial phenotyping, which means that I will have more confidence in depicting features of facial appearance that I can't tell from the skull alone, but the genetics can tell me the natural eye color of the person, the natural hair color of the person, whether they had freckles or not. So these kinds of really textural information enables me to confidently produce a forensic depiction in color, which in the past we would always revert to grayscale because to introduce color that you can't scientifically justify may also misdirect a future potential identification. I'm very grateful for the fact that Stellenbosch University as an institution recognized what this field does in terms of inter and transdisciplinary work, the fact that it's inherently collaborative, that it brings together art and science, um, and saw the value in supporting me in my quest, <laughs> my strange and singular quest, um, for the better part of six years.